Hey, it's cool here. If you don't know, and it is time for some more of the 15th anniversary long run where we are playing Tumba. We are getting pretty close to the end of the game, and now I just realized I forgot to open my um, my spreadsheet. So let me go ahead and do that. So we've got 103 events cleared and 114 collected. And uh, let me just check my list here. I think I could be wrong, but I think I have screwed myself out of 100% right. We might only be getting 129 events, thus preventing myself from getting that complete run again. I'm trying to think. Okay, let's check out the map. But yeah, um, weirdly enough, I I had uh, opened the TV tropes um, article for this game, and um, it mentioned that there are two or three missable events. And naturally, one of those missable events is one of the events that I have not cleared yet. And if I was reading that correctly, I've just missed it now. So, we'll see how I deal with that. Um, so I'm gonna go to the Mushroom Forest. My current goal is to get to the, um, to the mansion. The mansion that we're currently in front of, but can't enter from the front. Let's get Baron out here, and I'm going to go to the mushroom forest. Also, just so that everyone is aware, for the Archimegalo Community Challenge, we are currently at 50,000 doodads, and thus we've met the goal, so <laughs> there is no more, um, no more options to donate doodads. Um, it is going to be happening. And... So far, I have, uh, aside from the two guaranteed games of Meredith and Bumper Singers, I have selected six games and I have four more to pick. Also, you might notice this door is not open. This door is open. What does that mean? Hello, Oni Link. Welcome to Let's Play the World. You're just in time for the start of the stream and to see us get through this pig door. Oh, Violet! Yes! I, I just remembered. Hey! How dare you disturb my nap! No, oh, Put some clothes on for goodness sake! No, oh, no! My nose is all turned up! This used to happen only when I slept face down. I didn't sleep face down today. What's going on? Can't let you leave now that you've seen me like this. Be prepared. Today was your unlucky day. Oh. I just noticed the booba. That's 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 the lady. All that. Oh. This 
barely didn't get it in there. Nope. No, that's not gonna... Yeah, the timing on that was all the way off. Yeah, th this is an attempt at getting 100%, but I think there's a missable event that I have just completely missed at this point, so... Uh, ladies can have deep voices, yes. You're not wrong. There. That is another pig bagged, and I forget what what uh, zone we've deep jumped in. Okay. Nope, that's not the one that I just cleared. Okay. Uh, I got the barrel event. Uh, the event that uh, I think I have permanently missed is Takeout. That is a big fire. So we have released the jungle from the evil pig spell. Yeah, I think once you have cleared uh, Yan's event, then uh, if you haven't done takeout, you're not getting it. Also, I forgot, we don't have the million year old key yet. Well, at least we have uh, cleared another pig. You can deliver to him still if you go to his home, according to the wiki. Um, alright, let's try that. If you ate his lunchbox, you don't get the cheese. Um, Because I know that I gave a guy a regular lunchbox for an event, and I have a bunch of large lunchboxes. I don't know that I have Yen's lunchbox. I don't think I ever found that. I don't know if that's like a specific name for it. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes, uh, so I need to get to the million year old room. Uh, so let's go to the underground maze. You get Yan's lunchbox when you start the event, okay. So if the event is still startable, then it, then we haven't missed it. Uh, so yeah, one thing that I kind of forgot to do is talk to this guy again. Wah! Ah, you scared me! How'd you get in here? What? A wire? Your wire broke? Oh, so that's why you're in trouble. In other words, all you need is a wire that won't break, right? I know. The thieves' tools might be in the Haunted Mansion. It just so happens that one of our friends is at the Haunted Mansion right now. Find him and ask him about it. The Unbreakable Wire. So yeah, that is what I was missing in order to actually talk to the million-year-old man. It's this door? Now, I ran the wrong way. Naturally, I don't remember where this guy is that I need to talk to. And we're going to the Haunted Mansion, which means I'm going to be stumbling around for another episode two hours.
It's a very Lemmings, like I, I think I might have mentioned it before, but like there's a very Lemmings feeling to this song. There's one left somewhere around here. Okay, so that's not the guy. Oh yeah, like I, I do have the soft spot for 2D sprites and 3D environments. Uh, that like that is one of the the cool things about uh, Octopath Traveler. It's like they do 2D sprites in 3D environments and also uh, like it's pretty advanced 3D environments so like the contrast is kind of like kind of I don't know it has a charm to it. I like it. Yeah, Thief has his own house store. I would definitely like to do, um, like, I have in mind to do a series that I would call Xeno Years. In other words, doing all of the Xeno Gears games, like, all, not all of the Xeno games, specifically, or generally, I suppose. The problem is, like, I don't really know when I would do that because, like, I have the Tuesday and Sunday stream and I specifically don't stream on other days because, like, there's either my friends stream on those days or, um, there's a stream that I watch on those nights. And also, I have tried to have a third stream on Saturday nights, and no one, like, no one watches it. So, I'm like, why at that point? Minako. No, it's not that big door, because that's the thousand-year-old man. Is it you? What do you want from me? Why? Why it doesn't bend? <laughs> Are you kidding me? You think I'd have something like that? Well, actually, I do. But what makes you think I'm gonna give it to someone like you? Finders keepers. How fine. You got a pout like that, you can have it. It's yours. All right, we have an unbreakable wire. We have full health in a few seconds. So now we can go see the million year old man. Have to go outside first, which I guess makes sense. I'm just gonna port back to the underground maze directly. Never mind that Baron would have to basically fly through solid rock to fly us there. It just works, okay. So now we should be able to open any doors that uh, were not previously opened. Ah oh, yeah, no, we have not been here. They just kind of open for us. I guess I don't have to use the item. So you finally made it here, eh? No wonder all the uh, other elders were impressed by you. 
You have very beautiful, very pure eyes. Yes, you just may be the one. Your eyes tell me so. Well, let's talk about the evil pigs. The reason why they're collecting gold. The very source of their evil magic comes from the gold. By collecting more and more gold, they seek to unleash more powerful evil spells. That is why they're so relentless in their search for gold. It's been said from long ago that evil forces reside in gold, you know. But it's becoming too dangerous to allow the evil pigs to go on like this. It's source of evil magic. We must stop them before they acquire too much gold and too much power. First, you must seal the e the. First, you must seal the pigs one by one in the evil pig bags that you have collected so far. The ten thousand year old man tells me you've all, you've been to all seven lands already. It shouldn't be hard to find all of the evil pig bags now. If you still haven't found all of them, you must go back to the areas that you haven't fully explored yet. I desperately hope that someday all seven evil pigs will be sealed away forever. Million year old wish. Well, I mean, you have a door right there, so we're gonna get one closer right now. I wonder if he's able to see that door, actually. Like, maybe he can't see it because he doesn't have the bag. Oh, la, la, the sky is blue, so beautiful. La, 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 blue, blue, blue. Thank you, thank you very much. Let me thank everyone for coming to my concert by singing just one more song. A one, a two, a one, two, three. Ah, how long have you been standing there? You heard me? Oh, how embarrassing. So tell me, what'd you think of my angel-like voice? <laughs> I'm just kidding. In fact, I don't like being embarrassed. I'm afraid this is a very serious matter. Oh, jeez. Hi. Uh... Oh, okay. Not the whole thing is unsafe. Oh, jeez. Ah. And that thing is making me nervous, though. So it doesn't look like the, um, like the balls that he throws hurt. The thing that hurts here are the, um, the, the rotatoes here. Also, that is a real inconvenient place that you're landing there, I'm just coming to realize. Yeah, I might have to actually... I mean, maybe not if you land there, but, uh... There we go. Perfect! A rude pig is good put in bags. Man, we've been going for like 20 minutes and, uh... Already bagged two pigs. Making good progress here. So 107 uh, events cleared now. Huh? And I'm probably going to be starting to use a guide to. Oh, was that the last one? I think that was the last one. Well, this is a little awkward. Wait a minute. The eighth evil pig bag? Also the million year old wish. Uh, where 
where is the million year old wish? There it is. Like, it's confusing because like this list uh, has some events that should start with the, not start with the, so I, I have to check like with and without the article. What? How could this be? All seven pigs have been sealed and yet another evil pig bag and another evil pig ate. This can only mean, listen carefully now. I heard that there could be one more evil pig hiding somewhere, but until now I thought that it was just a rumor. This pig has to be controlled by the other seven, the ultimate evil pig. The good news is that we have the evil pig bag and the gate is right here before us. All we need to do is... The real evil pig. <laughs> There's no way you'll open that door! Give it up! <laughs> oh no! Must the weak follow the strong? This is... Mm, yes, this is something like a test of wits. That door closed when the evil pig that was here disappeared. So if seven people get on top of the seven stands, the door should open. Seven friends. I get it. We need to find seven friends that are willing to help us. I'll wait here until you get back, so tell your friends to come straight here. I'll explain everything to them. If you can't get seven people, come back here anyway. Okay, I am going to real quick look up takeout because uh, I am like a hundred percent sure that Yan is one of the seven friends. Um, let's see. So now I need to actually, if you don't accept it before finishing hide and seek, okay, then I've missed it. I guess we're doing 129. Because, uh, yeah, we, we have not uh, found the event takeout, so... Not much can be done about that at this point. I've, I have Let's Played this game three times. This is the third time. And I just cannot get that 100%. Oh, I am in here. Anyway, let's start uh, assembling the Power Rangers. Used the Baron. Uh, no, this is not where I was planning on going. Um, that is also not where I was going to go, I just pressed cross by accident. What events do I still have left to do? Well, there, there are still... Not including takeout, there are still 10 events that we haven't found. And there's 10 more events that we haven't completed. So I'm trying to find...
Do I just have to go there through the lava caves? Yeah, I'm gonna start looking up where the rest of these are just so we can get things cleared out. Uh, so we are going to need the rocket. Uh, that might be helpful. I, I mean, I do have the, uh, the stuff open on my side as well, but, uh... If you want, if you want to pull it out and, uh, help out a little bit, that's, uh, that's certainly welcome. Did I get the million-year-old key? I got the million-year-old key right. Oh, that's, uh, no, that's pain wall. Ah. Dang it. Get on. There we go. Ah. What? I disagree with that, but okay. A couple of charity wings there. I think there is one of these that I have to like grapple up, but you don't really see where you grapple up. Yeah, no. Hang another one up, which is irrelevant because, uh, spoiler alert, I am cheating for lives. I definitely have done the pump rocks. Also, like, I feel like this is a realization that I've had before, but, like, when you have jumped on a pump rock, it actually gets darker. So if you have a good eye, you can figure out which ones you've uh, you've gotten or not. Like it, it is just a little bit darker, and it's most noticeable when there are two of them next to each other. Let's play again sometime, okay? But I would have thought for sure that you're one of the seven friends. Why wouldn't you be? Oh, I do have a million year old key, okay. Um Okay, so one of the things, one of the events that I do have that I haven't, uh, actually hang on, I can, I can do you one better here, because I, I have a uh, spreadsheet where I'm, uh, like tracking all of these, uh, let me put an auto filter on. So the events that I have uh, that I have found and not cleared are a magic mirror, dig like a mole, grandpa's bracelet, which is the end of the game. I need a tear bottle, seven friends, tears from a flower, which is related to I need a tear bottle, the broken fountain, which is related to the other two, the cute witch, 
the real evil pig, which we just got. A uh, tree of knowledge knows, which I know what I need for that. Um, and so I think the one that I want to fit that I want to focus on right now is uh, the cute witch. I don't remember where to find the cute witch. Is at the start of the game. See, that's what I thought. Like, I've been to the Village of All Beginnings a couple of times uh, since then, but like, I have not seen her. Let's wait. Oh. Yeah, I think that door's not open until now. Why, well, hello there, sweetie. Me? My name is Mizno. Mizno the Witch? Mark off of the cute witch. So, you want some magic candy too, eh? Well, it's not that easy. To make candy, you need a biting plant flour. Got that. Some silver powder. Got that. Definitely some molasses. Got that. Coca Claws always add flavor. Got one. A bit of mushy thorn. Don't have that. And the secret ingredient, Neil Gator Teeth. Have that. Stand over there in front of the cauldron and place the items inside. Let's make candy! Okay, let's dump in what we have so far. Uh, so we need... Where is it all? Alright, oh, it's... Okay, so I have two of these. We'll need the biting fine flour. I have that. It's on there. So we need the silver powder. I should have that. There it is. Glasses. It's kind of awkward how they do it. I understand like why the name of the item is like in a separate message box. It's still kind of weird that they did it that way. Uh, so I think that's everything but the Budamoshi Thor. Unless I need like multiple coca claws. She took it, so that's good. Uh, da -da -da -da. So now I think I need to talk to her again. Oh dear, where could I have left that now? How in the world could I just forget three large crystal balls? I wonder if they're at the watchtower. Without my three crystal balls and mirror, I won't be able to make that now. What the witch lost? And we have both of those things. Uh, I'll get back to you on that form. Let's just clear what we can here for now. Oh, did I just use both of the items, I guess? Well, whatever here, this is what I've been longing for. Uh, this is what I've been looking for. Why do you have them? Oh, never mind. I just, I'm just glad someone found them. Thank you. Now I can make what, what I wanted. Are you curious what it is? 
It shouldn't take long to make, so come back in a little while and I'll show you. Pocus, pocus, focus, smokus. Don't bother me right now. I'm busy, okay? I stole them. I'm a feral child and they look pretty and sparkly. Like, he might be feral, but I, like, it's like I mentioned on Coast. I feel like he still at least knows sign language and understands spoken language. There you are. I was waiting for you. Here it is, a magic mirror. The mirror has incredible powers. It'll power up any weapon. Do you have anything we can try it on? Oh, you have all sorts of things. Let's see. Let's try your grapple and blackjack. Now we reflect both of these in the mirror and... Voila! There we go. Two weapons combined in one. This is the grapple jack. Powerful tools. No need before I'll tap ADHD and go, ooh, shiny. I know, we're poking fun at you, Tumba. You don't need to pout. I'm the only one who can use that magic mirror. But why don't you hold on to it? Why give it to me then? That's weird. Anyway, we have the grapple jack now, which has the power of the grapple and uh, uh, the power of the blackjack and the ability to grapple. Um. So yeah, let us get that good and bushy thorn. We've been pretty much everywhere, but we have not opened any million-year-old chests, and I have to assume it's probably in one of those. Uh, what is the location, please? We're playing card games while you're up. It's in a hundred-year-old chest? If it's in a hundred-year-old chest in the underground maze, then I should have it, unless I needed the uh, the unbreakable wire first. It's entirely possible. Well, let's go back to the uh, underground maze. There is also a million-year-old chest down here, which probably has the million-year-old bell. If I had to, know, if I had to guess. Oh yeah. Maybe it's that one. Just passively clearing an event. Oh, well, that's charity wings. Hmm? Well, what a pleasant surprise. Hardly get any visitors anymore. Did you think the door that won't open? Ah, it's not in a hundred year old chest, it's in a thousand year old chest. Or, wait, no, that's. Is that a ton? No, that's a ten thousand year old chest. But we did need to, uh, to come back here after the Dig Like a Mole. Uh, event cleared, which I don't know exactly when that cleared, but it cleared at some point. I'm trying to think if there's any other chests here. Other than the million-year-old chest I had alluded to previously that I could not have opened until now. I mean, since we have Baron, we don't really need a million-year-old. Oh! Never mind, that's 300,000 AP. I don't know if uh, if that uh, event was for opening that specific chest, or if it was for opening all of the chests in the underground maze, but uh, I mean, we've got it, so. 
So let us go back to the village of all the humans. Says that specific chest. Yeah, I I pretty much had half a dozen tabs open myself. It turns out that there's a lot of information available about this game. There's a reason why uh, there's going to be a re-release in August. Eh? Achoo! Hmm? Well, so it seems you've caught a cold somehow. Maybe, maybe Tumba's an asymptomatic carrier of COVID or something. But, um... Provided that that's not it, I do have something for that. People do deserve to play this game. Huh? Huh? Hallelujah! I'm cured! You brought this cold medicine just for me? Okay, what's the catch? What do you want from me? Nothing? Really? Thank you, that's the first time anyone has given me medicine just by hearing me sneeze. Here, take this. Take what? Oh, okay. I made you healthier, and therefore you made me healthier. We have made gold candy. Hey, aren't you supposed to be busy catching the evil pigs? Well, okay, fine then. I probably need to go outside to get, uh, get on Baron again. But uh, at this point, just turn a random bunch of random stuff into gold. Maybe it's not actually gold. Maybe it's like, that's the recipe for Warder's original. But now we have the golden leaf butterfly, the gold flower, the gold candy, the gold metal, and also the golden bowl. Even if it doesn't show up in our inventory, but does um, increase our maximum health. We have all five gold items. Let's go to old tree hill. Leveling roller just popped. Gotcha. And I get those roulettes in. Especially this close to uh, Dawn Trail. Ooh. Holy moly, 500,000 AP in that chest. But there's not even really any reason to keep getting AP. Dumba, Jewel, hi. I sent out my message from Old Grams. Here, the old tree knows so much that the people call him the tree of knowledge. He says that in the future, if there's any, any, ever anything you want to ask him, just come back right here to see him. Well, actually, there is something that I would like to ask him. Get on the level. Hey, Zero, how you doing? Now, my understanding was once I get all five of the gold items... Oh, right. I think there is a... Yeah, I need to clear an event that I have not found yet. I'm trying to figure out... Some cheese, please, has been cleared. Why is that lewd? Okay. 
Uh, I've cleared cheese, please. Why is the golden fruit not there then? Oh, I need to bring more cheese? Do I have more cheese? Oh, I have ten more cheese. Clear and another five cheese, don't you? I thought that the golden bowl would count as one of them, but I guess not. Uh, Baron, let us go to Bacchus Village. Also, it's all good, Grim. I'm sure you're very excited about uh, hearing someone's camping trip. Possibly more excited about hearing the, the daughter. I don't know. I don't know how your relationship with people is, and I'm not going to ask. That is not my business. And this is probably not the place. Anyway, here's have some more cheese. Aren't you, the, aren't you the cheese guy? Do I need to talk to you again? Oh, that's a lot of cheese. I have to give you something really special now. Here, take this. It's the golden fruit. Thank you. I mean, if you want five more cheese, I have more cheese. And if you want even more cheese than that, then we can probably order some cheese, girl. The good call, just a lot of repeating because she's five. That is adorable. Uh, so let us go talk to the 10,000 year old man, I believe. Oh, whatever. More of this glow, this shine! These, these have to be the five golden items! I can't believe you really found them! Alright then, let's trade for my psychic fish fair and square. There we go, the five golden items. And now we have the psychic fish? The psychic fish can give you wonderf wondrous powers, but one small mistake can be deadly. Listen carefully now. Using this fish will make you run faster and jump higher than ever before. But if you over if you overuse it, you'll be diving straight down into the valley. When you don't need the power of the fish anymore, you must use it again. I will return you to your normal primitive self. In other words, use the fish wisely. Don't waste the special powers, comprende? I wonder if there are any unusual fish here. So if we use the psychic fish, ah, it's the same effect as the suspicious mushroom. Got it. Except that now we can turn it off. Yes, it lagged a little because, I mean, I, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Uh, I am loading this disc from a network, a network share. So there might be some delays when I access things. It's fine. Okay, so the list of items is really dwindling now. I just hope I haven't screwed myself out of the Tree of Knowledge thing actually. Although at this point it doesn't really matter because I'm not going to get 130 events. Sets. The golden flowers in the dwarf's uh, flower garden, the golden fruits in the back of the village, the golden leaf butterflies in the hidden village, the golden candies in the witch's hut, 
and one more, but he says he, that he forgot. But he says the motocross course sounds vaguely familiar. Also, for any of the items, you need to do something in order to get them, okay? The Tree of Knowledge does indeed know. And we also know because we've gotten all of this stuff. Roddy Rocket, welcome to Let's Play the Whole Vibe. Remember playing this game all the time on PS1? I have Let's Played this game three times. This is the very first game I Let's Played 15 years ago. Um, and each one of those times, including this time, I've ended up missing a missable event. In this case, there is no way for me to clear the event takeout. Oh well. But I am, I am at least going for 129 events, and uh, we're getting pretty close to the end. Up to 121 and 127. Let me make sure that my, uh, that this is consistent with my, uh... Oh! Uh, this is 120 and 126. There is something here that I have forgotten. Or either something that I've forgotten or something that I have, uh, that kind of cleared itself quietly, which happens sometimes. Do I have the civilization machine? No, I think that one is still... Uh, the boss's treasure, maybe? feasible that I would have quietly cleared that. Kinda wish that you could sort these like alphabetically or something. We'll figure it out. Uh, so now I need Okay, the the best course of action right now would be uh, get the tear bottle so we can get tears from a flower so we can fix the broken fountain so we can go up the flower tower. Uh, so where is the tear bottle? Ah, uh, okay. I know where it is. I know where it is. And for this, we will need to go back to the Mushroom Forest now that we have released the, uh, the spell over there. Well, we've, re we've released the spell everywhere. So we need to go in the back. Well, that worked out anyway. 
not exactly the intended solution, but uh, we got there. And technically what you're supposed to do is grab onto the side of one of them to blind them. And then grab onto the other one from the top. And throw them into the first one. But sometimes you can kind of luck, luck them against each other. Oh, you're just gonna go hide in the spikes, huh? Okay. Or maybe sometimes they'll just decide to hug the wall and not be able to do anything about their situation. There we go. We have a tear jar. So now that we have a tear jar, and that this place is back to as normal as it gets, we need to find a yellow flower. Need help crying? I think I got it. But uh, I do need to find where this flower is. This is the guy who's looking for... I have one. Okay, I guess uh, you're not going to react to an empty teardrop, I get it, and make me do the work. That is not where I wanted to go. Although it makes sense to, to go back there because uh, I do have the million year old uh, key now, which means I can open the last chest in the... Uh, in the mansion. Also try to get some of these extremely trepidatious um, chests over pits. Well, down I go. They're not strictly required, but also, like, if I can open them and actually collect the, the items they're in. And the, the trick is to, like, just kind of tap the jump button. And also press down. That one's gone. Not those one ups though, not that uh, it particularly matters. Where is the yellow flower? Do I need to like... Or maybe the flower itself isn't yellow, it's just this specific flower maybe? No? Okay, now I woke up. Oh, really? Because I fell off, I can't use my weapon, so I'm just falling down the pit. Wanna drink and be sad? Call 1 800 and whine about it. Yeah, like, I, I was jamming the attack button there and nothing was happening. 
Uh, I am not finding where this uh, this flower is that I'm looking for. to go into the background layer. Yeah. Now that makes me sad because this layer is a lot more dangerous. The, the big face flowers in the background here. So far, I'm not seeing one that is not awake. Or open, anyway. Or is it like... Is there like one of them that if I have... If I'm under the effect of a mushroom, it doesn't react or something? right from the wolf, I believe it's here, and then drop down there. Oh, no. oh, there it is, there it is. Let's use that rise and shine powder and find out that we can't use it from here. Let's hope that there's a platform here. There is. should be able to use it from here. There we go. And now we can use the tear jar and get tears from a flower. Uh, I don't know if we have to let the dwarf here know about that, but uh, just for good measure let's go talk to him. Oh, and he was here, right? So he just left. Like, okay, job well done. Let's go. So where do we take these? We take these to Charity Square. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna go back to the mansion. Let's, let's just for good measure open that last uh, chest in there. And then we'll go to Cherry's room. Wonder if this guy is one of my friends. And I can't talk to you again, so I'm gonna guess no. And in the last box, there is three lives. Okay, so now that we've uh, opened that last box in the mansion, let's go to Charity Square. is so pretty now. So now that we have flower tears 
apply them to the dried out fountain. And the angels start peeing on our shins. But wait, what's happening? Holy crap! <laughs> We're smoking some serious Missoula. Well, that is the Flower Tower Power Hour. Flower Chowder something. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not as good at it as I go. That gives us the sacred fish. This do. A special fish from ancient times. Eating it might give you extraordinary powers. Okay, so we can have one fish on at a time. I don't know what this did. So we are down to five events that we can get. Um, Grandpa's Bracelet, Seven Friends, The Boss's Treasure, The Civilization Machine, and The Real Evil Pig. So The Real Evil Pig is the next to last, The Grandpa's Bracelet is the last. So um, let's go for the... Let's, let's at least start gathering friends. Where, where, where can we find some friends out here? Well, we've probably made some friends in the Dwarf Forest. In the Dwarf Village, right? Wouldn't this guy, like said you and I are friends now. Okay, is there something that I'm missing? Because you, you're saying you and I are friends now, well... Can, can you... Oh, maybe the Civilization Machine is the one that... Uh, that got cleared quietly. Which page is that on? Oh, there it is. So yeah, that was that was the one that that uh, was inconsistent. Yes. Um let, let us uh let us get some friends, and then we can get the boss's treasure, and then we can deal with the final evil pig. Dwarf in blue in the northeast corner. You? Oh, what is it, Tomba? You and I are friends. I'll be right behind you. Alrighty. We're going to Bacchus Village. I feel like some of these are a bit like you just gotta talk to everyone and see who's willing to help you. What? The final evil pig? No problem, I'll take care of the bozo. Yeah, they aren't mice anymore. So it is a shame. In the top right corner, the room with the big keyhole. Uh, which side of the mansion is that?
I guess I'll just pick one and then start looking. But each time that I have played this game, I have spent an abnormal amount of time just running around the Haunted Mansion because, like, I just do not have- let's clear up that laugh. I just do not have a sense of direction for this place. I feel like I know it when I'll see it, but like, I need to see it. <laughs> yeah, here it is. That evil pig that caused the spill here. Um, and in top right corner. I uh, see there was not a man there before. The evil pigs, gold. I'm in. I'm scared, but I'll go. Like, doesn't he look like a roadie? Like that. That does not look like a bandana. That looks like a backwards baseball cap and like it looks like he has like he's wearing a headset like that that gives me the impression that he's a roadie not a thief okay next he can be whatever he wants uh, oh I need to go outside Civilization. I believe that will be four and five. And we're talking with the witch. What? Did you say you wanted some juice? No? You gotta fight the evil pig? Very well, huh? Go with you. Oh, there are three of them here. Well, it's not the last one, but I know who the last one is. Why, wow, you've done a lot for me. I'm willing to help you too. Also, is there like something here? This, like, gives me the feeling that there should be something here, but, uh,. The last one. You have six friends. Can't beat the evil pigs. Oh no. Whatever will we do? But uh, yeah, so let's get that uh, that last friend and then we have one more event to tackle before we move on to the final. Is it the evil pig cake near the underground maze? If it's a favor for you, I'll do it. Alright, that is six friends. Uh, four now, that will uh, have to be enough. So now we just need to clear the boss's treasure. Keyhole room at the haunted mansion. Wish I had known that when I was at the haunted man. Uh, 
the Haunted Mansion. I don't know why I threw on an accent for that, but here it is. Well, at least with Baron around, we don't really need to worry about backtracking too much. We don't have to like run from point A to point B. And like navigating this place can be a little confusing as well because like you need to rotate this this uh, mansion in specific places. Now let's see if I can find the small keyhole door. So naturally, we're, we're going to be looking for this for the next three to five hours. There's also the matter of what the heck is this? That wooden door. This one? Ha! Who hey there! Long time no see! Uh, what was your name? My treasure? Well, I had him give it back to me. I have it right here. Would you like to see it? Uh... Uh-oh. <laughs> I lost it! Stuff inside too! Gone! Ah, oh, well, it's probably laying around here somewhere. If you find it, you can have it. it. Must not be that important to me if I've lost it. Take it, you thief! No, wait a minute! I'm the thief! <laughs> Sir, turn around. I don't know if this is used for anything. Like, we can't use it. As far as I can tell, this is just an item for sure. Anyway, we need to go outside. All the mostly clean event list. There is still the blemish of I cannot clear take out. But yes, let us see the list. We have collected 129 events of the definitely only 129 events in the game. Three events remain. Seven friends will lead us to the real evil pig, will lead us to the credits, will lead us to grandpa's bracelet. I did not eat someone's dinner. I didn't find the event before, uh, like, you have to find the event before you complete a, another event. And if you don't, then that event becomes locked out. I think what I might do... See, the, the, this, uh, this empty space here, that's a typo. Um, what I might do for real, though, is... Um, I think I'm going to try to clear the game again. Not tonight, because like even a long play where you know what you're doing takes like four hours. Uh, the current speed run is something like an hour and a half.
So I'm probably going to do that off camera because there is a reason to. And then I, like, if there's any differences, then I will show them uh, in a video that I'll post to the, uh, to the log repo. Hmm, we still need one more. What shall we do? Man's best friend. Baron? Why, sure, Baron, Baron is Thomas' friend, too. Look, the gate! It, it's opening! Oh, you're not letting me save game? That's rude. Oh well. I have so few friends at the Doctor Fitty. Tumma, you finally made it! I've been waiting for you. I'm the ultimate evil pig that created all of the other evil pigs. Did you have fun fighting the others? I made those for people like you to have fun. That's right, to me this whole battle is a game. With you, Tumba, this whole world is like... Like... A gigantic toy box! This may be hard to understand right now. Anyway, let's have fun! Come and get me if you can! Oh. Ah, it's trying to, to get a blind shot in. Okay, that's rude. Dang. Ah, it's stuck on the geometry again. Like, unfortunately, this boss is hard for the wrong reason. Like, it's hard because you have to throw the, pet, the pig into the bag, but most of the time you're going to be in a position where you just cannot see where the bag is. Just barely not. That's kind of a dumb attack that he has though, like, all it does is freeze you for like a second and then he just teleports away again. In the bag! And you'd think that you have to do it like three times or something, but no. That's it. Game's over. Oh no. That was a load-bearing boss. Fortunately, Baron jumped into the gate to save us just in the nick of time. Higgins. <laughs> now I have to remember what voice I gave everyone. Ah, you made it. You've uh, done an excellent job. Indeed, this continent will finally return to the way it was before. I guess he was just lucky. <laughs> Come again. You are more worried about him than the rest of us. Don't want to admit it, eh? What? What the heck are you talking about? Not in a million years! They say the memory is the first thing you go, you know, you senile old... Hey, calm down, both of you! 
Anyway, we owe it all to this young man. Also, I'm surprised that the million year old man didn't say something about that not in a million years quip. His courage saved us all. Indeed. In the end, have we have all achieved our goals? Question mark? For some reason? Well done, well done. What? You're heading back home already? Billy, we'll just remember our spirit will always stay close to you, Tumba. You can always come back here and count on us. Look after yourself. And take care, Sonny. Stay out of trouble. Don't get sick. Uh, what else was I gonna say? Now whose memory is fading, eh, Gramps? <laughs> stay young, kid. And that is, that is Tumba for the third time. Getting bumpy in. Ah, I really want to be able to clear this a hundred percent though. Like jokes aside, I have let's played this three times. And I have gotten really close to clearing it each time, but just can't quite get to it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a fun game. It's there. There is a lot of ways in that it is not really a good game. It is kind of jank at times. There is also that motocross thing that is. Grandpa's bracelet. Um, there's also the motocross thing that is like demands perfection. Like you gotta do it exactly right or else you, you just miss by like 0.2 of a femtosecond. This game has zero issues out here. I mean, it's not a perfect game, but it's a fun game. Like, when you're not struggling against it, it is legitimately really fun. Like, it is doing a lot of original things. Like, it's kind of mixing the RPG genre with, um, with a platformer and just experimenting a little. We don't see a whole lot of games that just kind of try something? There should be more games like this. In fact, there was at least one more game like this. And before we start our Kamegala, there is something that we must play. My second Let's Play ever. And uh, see the Onos in chat. Yeah, it. I mean, it tried to do more of the same, but uh, did it really land? We'll see. But I do want to redo it because the first time. Um, I was using a PlayStation emulator. I think it was just originally called PSX emulator, made by the infamous PSX author. Um, you watch the last of this game in high school? Uh, it could have been. Uh, I don't know when you were in high school, but my uh, like this is my 15th anniversary, so it was 15 years ago. Uh, 2009? Yeah, that might have very well been mine. And uh, I did another one four years into my Let's Play uh, journey, let's call it. I don't want to call it a career because most of it I didn't even receive a single dime from it. Um... Yeah, I mean, if you, if you watched a Let's Play of in high school, in 2009, it very well could have been mine. Um, but yeah, 
uh, there was another Let's Play of Tomba 2 that I ran in PSX and I turned off the music because the music was glitching and I turned off the voice acting because I thought it was atrocious. So I do want to go back and do that game right. I don't think I'm going to start that tonight though. We're going to start that next time. Um, for the rest of tonight, I will figure out something. I have I have options for one shots, you'll know that. But anyway, uh, for for those of you in Streamland, hang around. We're gonna be doing stuff for another two hours or so. But for those of you in um, in Vodland, in the VOD repo, that is gonna do it for this series. There might be an additional video coming out if I can uh, clear all 130 events. But for now, I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.